pal. Hi, how neighbor. Are how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I saw your wife this weekend. You... I, I know. I, when I when I go out of town, you guys have all the fun, and then yeah. when I come home, you're just too busy for me. You're too. You're out of town all the time. I gotta earn a living. You're always on the road. <laughs> you're doing. You're doing a lot of stuff. Yeah, but last true. time I saw you, you uh, you were kind enough to. We both uh, live in Montecito, and we have had a terrible time, and it's still pretty bad there. And you were kind enough to go and do a tape piece, and it's. Uh, Thanks. It's, yeah. It's still. We still need help. We we do, and 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 your Kickstarter campaign really made a huge difference, and so much, so many viewers have donated to our little community, and uh, I was just actually out walking, walking the devastation yesterday, and it is slow going, but yeah. but the 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 sort of feeling is good, but it's yeah. it's a lot. Yeah, the spirit is good. It's a great town. Nobody's leaving. Everybody is staying put because it's a, it's a great place to live. No. Um, so you're on the, we're talking about how busy you are. One of the things you're doing, in addition to the hundred things you're doing, is you're doing this one-man show. And you started, you tried it once, you loved it, and now you're out on the road. Well, and part of it is like, I've always admired people like you. And when I was on, when I was on Parks and Recreation with Aziz and Zari, I'd be like, hey, Aziz, come up and let's have a jacuzzi Friday. Be, oh, no, dude, I'm doing two dates on the road. And I was like, wow, that would be so fun to go out in front of an audience and, and present something to them. So stories I only tell my friends live is, is out touring the country. I'm, I'm going to be in New Jersey this weekend and in Washington, D.C. And it's, here's what, here's what I tell people. Yeah. Think of it as a TED Talk, but a little less pretentious. <laughs> and a lot less smart. <laughs> So what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like what? Um, it's, well, it's, it's a little bit, I wrote two books. And right. so it's really in lieu of a third book. That's the material. So it's a little bit of like, you know, war stories behind the curtain of 40 years of doing this craziness. And raising boys and, you know, crazy marriage stuff. And, mm -hmm. and it's just storytelling. And yeah. it's, it's funny and... A little emotional, and it's, people seem to really like it. That's so great. It's that's, really fun. That's so fun. Are you able to sleep? I know sleep is very, very important to you. I sleep better on the road. I sleep better on the road because I'm not with my wife. And <laughs> it's just the truth. People, it's the truth. I mean, I love her enough to speak the truth. And, 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 and what it is, is she's obsessed with playing Family Feud till 5 and 6 in the morning on the iPad and wakes me up like, honey, honey, quick, name five foods that are gross. I'm like, I just want to go to, so the answer is yes. My sleep on the road, mwah, love it. So yeah, you sleep better. So <laughs> let's, let's talk about, uh, this, this guy posted, this is hilarious. So this guy, you took a picture with his wife. This is backstage at my show this weekend. So, and he says, my wife's face on our wedding day compared to when she met Rob. <laughs> A picture's worth a thousand words. Yeah, well, but they're still together, unless they just got married the day before that. <laughs> yeah, I don't that's know. Right. Yeah, they survived it. So uh, <laughs> your sons, so Matthew and John Owen, Joe, the smart as can be. John Owen is about to graduate, right? John Owen graduates from Stanford in a month. Yeah. And and, and thanks. Yeah. Cool, right? And Matthew is in the middle of uh, his law school finals. Right. So there's a lot of pressure around the low house right now. And so what is John Owen going to do? So, so, my, so Ma Matthew's the lawyer in the family. I, I figured I can get somebody cheap to do my legal work if one of my sons. <laughs> and then John Owen was the youngest um, published author in stem cell research when he was an assistant at the Eli Broad Stem Cell Lab. That's what got him into to Stanford, now he's graduating with straight A's, and now he's come to me and told me that he wants to be an actor. <laughs> which, is, which is, look, let's face it, that's great, because we, I think we can all agree that what society needs is one less scientist who's gonna cure cancer and one more actor. I mean, yeah. really, that's what we're looking for. He's made the right choice. Oh, without a doubt, for yeah. society, 100%. Right, he will, he will contribute to, <laughs> to this. I need more guests on my show, so yeah, that's exactly. great. So, and uh, you were talking about the 40 years of doing this, but it's been 35 years since The Outsiders. 35 years since that movie. It's crazy, it, right? It feels like a, a billion years ago, and it feels like yesterday. I bet. At the same time. I bet. It's, it's great to have, those are my frat brothers, basically. Like, yeah. you know, I didn't go to college, so that's my fraternity. Those are my first roommates. Those are my frat brothers, really. 
Well, you didn't go to college, but you're smart as can be. You you have uh, done everything you can to educate yourself in every kind of way, and and the proof is those boys that you have. You've you've done a good job raising Thank you. those they, kids. They love you, and yeah. they they had so much fun on your show. My boys did the show. Uh, about what about a year ago yeah. and they were funny yeah. i thought they're great but there they yeah. are yeah we had so much they gave me such grief it was unbelievable cuz you were do, you were doing that show where you go and find uh, haunted places and find we, ghosts we did a yeah it was called the low files and it was basically anthony bourdain parts unknown if you put it into a blender with scooby doo <laughs> And, and we literally went and looked for Sasquatch. Didn't find Sasquatch, but, you know, we tried. Yeah. 